we are back again in rwanda the cleanest country in africa this is the craziest thing i've ever done in my entire life but i'm not scared because I'm in the cleanest city in Africa. This is Kigali. Look. Man, it's been a while. I was last here two years ago and I won't lie. I'm excited to be back. Uh, yeah, we came back because we are honoring my husband. Let's welcome Bode Maya. Welcome. He is receiving the Guba Award for his excellent job in Africa. It's been really amazing. No, no, no. <laughs> Good morning. It is one rainy day in Ghana, and we are heading to the airport because you are going to the cleanest and safest country in Africa. I'm so excited. We got to the airport right on time. This is us going in. You know what I love about us these days? Like we put our clothes in one bag. <laughs> and we move with it so when we went to check in we found an attendant who is a huge fan and so he put her bag on priority he didn't want us to show his face but we are so grateful so we are finally inside the plane about to take off um yeah and i'm super excited i think i've been to rwanda is it once or twice i can definitely remember the first time i'm not sure about the second time so this might just be my second time in rwanda um very very excited uh, also because you're going to east africa and also because it is rwanda although i kind of wish uh, it was a totally new country because you have over 50 over how many countries in africa really? 54 exactly and i keep coming to ghana you know i don't want to repeat countries like i don't want to go back to rwanda i want to go to fresh new countries like angola you know egypt you know botswana yeah but Namibia, exactly you know Rwanda. Namibia. No, i've been to rwanda before <laughs> so like yeah i wish it was like a totally different country but it's okay it's rwanda it feels good to go back there for the second time let's go and see how it's gonna go actually i haven't shown you guys but my office over there is this top i don't know if you guys can see this is dakar senegal I got, I got it when I was in Senegal and it just brings back the memories, you know, Nigeria. that I made in Senegal, another African country. Yeah, so frustrated when I went to Senegal. Oh man, Senegal was the worst country I've ever been to in Africa. Not because it's a bad place, but because they were speaking French and they couldn't understand French and they couldn't find anyone who could speak English until, you know, after like a week or a couple of days and they had already been so frustrated. You go to a shop, you want to buy something and they're speaking in French and you're like, I... English, in the, you know, it was so frustrating, but I loved the place though. Yeah, Other from, than that, well from there you went to Malaysia? Yeah, from there I went straight to Malaysia to reflect on my life because I was so depressed after that. But I loved Senegal, it was a very beautiful place. Uh, we finally got people who could speak English and it made our stay in Senegal um, easy. Um, yeah. You know, it might seem simple when I say it, but it's actually such a big deal when you're actually there. But uh, yeah, I love Senegal and that's why I'm wearing the top from Senegal. I don't know why I'm yawning too much. Are you hungry? I'm oh, eating this morning. Yes. I made you something to eat. So you know like in Tokyo Airlines when the, the air hostess comes and say, Is it gonna be? <laughs> <laughs> These days I always go for beef. Uh, chicken or beef? Maya always go for chicken. Yeah. So I'm just waiting to hear chicken or beef. And I, for now I'm gonna sleep. And I'm waiting to hear chicken or beef and I'll wake up. <laughs> Ooh, I can't wait. But you had a problem though. Um, Maya had booked the ticket. For me I'm supposed to fly straight oh my God. to Rwanda, but Maya is supposed to follow me tomorrow and no, I don't want that. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I booked the two tickets and I don't know how come I booked the ticket like that. But anyway, if she makes it no, tonight... No, 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 no. We 
tried to go and change and then they were like no you have to pay 300 dollars to change your flight to today like, which is more than the like price of the ticket <laughs> itself and you're like what dollars 77 dollars no i just want us to land in rwanda together that's gonna be so sweet i you just know. want to land in rwanda together oh oh yeah 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 what happened nothing Just give me your cheese. I'll never give you one. No, I have a right. It's my right. But it's my right. No, I'm not a big fan. You're married. You're married. Wait. I don't even want people to say that this is an uncommon. I'm sorry, man. Man, you're shy. Let's leave it at that. Okay, I'm, I'm my shy. My husband is shy. I just want to be shy. I always okay. want to be shy. That is what it is. Uh. If you know Maya, you know he loves so of course that's what he was watching the whole time on the plane <laughs> i on the other hand i finally got to watch top gun i've heard about this movie for ages i've had some people say it's the best movie ever um yeah glad i watched it it is it is something i would rate it at a nine out of ten because it is that good So unfortunately, I had to leave my husband in Ethiopia and I proceeded alone to Rwanda because of the error he made when he was booking the ticket. They told us we had to go outside the airport to an office to change it and we didn't have the time. So, yep. Guys, I feel so bad. Look at all this space. Um, we are going with a small plane from Ethiopia to Rwanda and it is almost empty. It's less than halfway full. And I'm like, oh my god, I wish Maya was here. Let me tell you something, guys. I love his jacket so much. So it was gifted to me when I was in the US. Um, it has so many pockets. And then the pockets are hidden. And then they are so big. Like, for example, look at this pocket here. Yeah. Okay. Look at this pocket. So. This is a pocket right here. Hey, look at how big it is. My passport is inside there. I put my phone inside there. My passport, my keys, my headphones when I'm traveling with them. I put, I put so much. This jacket can carry so much, and that's what I love most about it. Small. Okay. So I'm chosen this one. Okay, thank you. Okay. I feel like VIP. Oh, this is so nice. In Rwanda, you guys have Masai. Uh -huh. yeah. I saw a photo of uh, Masai at the airport, so yeah. I was like, I thought you only have Masai in in kenya in tanzania uh i've been living here because oh, okay. i think uh, it's kind of coping but this is our culture there. oh okay this is the only culture we want nice uh, thank you so much no uh, thank you oh. <laughs> for upgrading me and for being kind <laughs> no it's, it's because uh, you deserve it oh <laughs> can you see how randies are so nice <laughs> okay so, thank you so much i'll yeah. see you yeah. you're called who David. David, thank you so much. Yes, Have a good night. Oh, see, the guy was so nice. So once you walk in, immediately on your right, you've got the bathroom. Um, look at that. Look at that. Wow. Oh. Okay, okay. And on this side, you have a closet. Oh, nice 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 I love it you've got a mirror here okay okay mirror 
Okay. <laughs> oh, so this is my full outfit of the day. Finally, you guys get to see. When I'm traveling, I really love just wearing trousers and, you know, simple t-shirts. And I told you guys how much I love this coat. Um, yeah, this has been my look for the day. And, uh, oh, here you have some, you know, drinks, you know, some tea. Um, yep, and this is a room for you. Love, love the bed. I love the art on top there. Uh, yeah. Of course, you've got a TV, study area, or workstation, and a sofa. Nice. Uh, guys, good morning from Rwanda, Kigali. Oh my God, I can't even believe I'm saying that. This is incredible. I can't believe I am in Kigali. I won't even lie to you guys. Outside my window, you can just see Rwanda is so clean. Like I have a view of the pool and then the streets. And oh my God, oh my, it's clean, clean, sparkling clean. It's incredible. Even last night on our way here, like the streets were just so clean. Anyway, uh, Maya is on the way from Ethiopia. Uh, he's gonna be landing anytime now so his friend is gonna pick me up so we can go and pick him up at the airport i'm super super excited um yeah are these my outfits that i'm going with to the airport <laughs> can you guys see it uh maybe i should just i am struggling and i can just bring this down just move the laptop move this a little and then you guys can see my outfits you guys have seen it before right i hope they it's okay to wear short things in rwanda i know it's short but this is me i i just i love wearing short things sometimes um so uh i hope i won't get stoned i've talked to maya's friend and he's like no, no no it's okay it's okay it's cool but anyway i'm just going to pick up maya at the airport and then come back here so it's not like i'll be walking in the streets or anything but then again it's not too short it's just a cute romper not not sure maybe i'm just in my head too much maya's friend is here uh this guy was actually maya's schoolmate in china so that's how they know each other yeah, i wanted him to be on camera but he's camera shy so hi, hi. hello hi. is this the chef for ronda yeah. it's good yeah oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, of course. Oh, thank God. Because I was like, oh my God, are they going to stone me? <laughs> you know, guys, so apparently this is where Maya did his viral video here in Rwanda. Um, right here. Oh, we love Rwanda behind that. So he was seated right here. And his friend was with him, but he doesn't want me to show his face. So, But you can see his hands. <laughs> um, are you okay? Are you okay? No. How far are you? Just one minute away. Okay. Yeah. I'll have to go to see them. Bye. Bye. Hello? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. I showed you on camera. I'll blur your face. So, Maya has called. He's like, oh, are you with my girl? I know he he knows I'm here, but I'm like no 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 tell him I'm not here tell him I'm not here because I want to surprise him I want him to step out and be like ah but it, I don't know I don't think he thinks he might think I'm not here do you think I should hide in the car and then when he comes to open he sees me or do I just go out and stand with you what do you think I should do uh, okay let's go we go oh you hide in the car you want to what do you think I hide in the car so yeah, he's you disappointed. See, you see and then he's disappointed and then when he's he's coming out because you know when i was coming i couldn't see who was inside the car so even if i sit like this i don't think he'll see i guess i'll have to hide behind and then surprise him or should i just go so he hasn't seen me yet He's seen me, he's seen me. Yeah. Uh, I was trying to hide behind him. Oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> I know he can never leave you at the house, come on. <laughs> How are you babe? I'm good. 
Oh, you came to pick me? <laughs> well, like, we don't, we don't have that code that you have to wear a jacket. No. That's true. Twenty four seven summer in Ghana. Thank you. It's so good. For mm. us at night, you can like right now at night you have to wear a jacket. No, no, no. You can go far, right? Thank you. Welcome. Good morning, guys. Good morning uh, from the thousand hills of uh, Rwanda, the land of a thousand hills. Oh, wow. And we are falling in love with Rwanda. I'm already in love with Rwanda. I'm not falling in love. You remember when you came up with this idea of falling in love when yeah. you were in... Which country were you going? Was it Sierra Leone? Sierra Leone. Yeah. Oh, wow. You know, we're in the plane and it's like, oh, I'm in love. And I'm like, you're not in love with me. <laughs> it's like, ah, I'm in love with Sierra Leone. And then we came up with the title of falling in love with Sierra Leone. Yeah. I remember. Mm -hmm. Wow. And that, that title became a trend. I saw people using it. <laughs> Yes, so now uh, we are falling in love with Rwanda again. Um, we've come for breakfast. What did you say? And now we are falling in love with Rwanda again. Falling in love with Rwanda again. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the title of the video will be falling in love with Rwanda again. No. Or already. Already. Or past. What <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck am I saying? <laughs> so, yes, yeah, we are so grateful to Parkin by Radisson for hosting us. Um, they have really cozy rooms and a very tasty breakfast in such a wide range. Trust Look at Maya. Me, this is my second time of coming in here and they got the best breakfast in the whole of Africa. Secondly, they got the best buffet. Tonight, I think I will let you try the buffet that they have in here. The first time that I tried the buffet in here, I was like, my goodness. And there are different varieties of food for you to choose from, so you know what? That's what you're saying. I'm married, I'm married, but it's still food over women. Ah. I don't, I don't blame him. I don't blame him. But uh, yes, this is one of the best uh, hotels we've ever slept in because the food, yeah, for me, it's the food and the food number one and then the rooms. So yeah, whenever you come to Rwanda, you're thinking of somewhere to stay. I highly, we highly recommend this place. Um, yeah. So we're starting with the food. I think I'm going to start with fruits. Look at all this food. We are spoiled for choice. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, there's just so much. I'm gonna start with the uh, fruits and some vegetables. Um, yeah. So you see guys, now I don't know what to pick, what not to pick. There's just so much. I've discovered this lately, how you can, you know, serve yourself fruits and then pour a yogurt on top. And oh my god, it is so they good. They know? I didn't know. They? It, I had it first in Ghana. And I was like, what the hell is this? And then I loved it. So everywhere I go, I look for this. And now there's strawberry, there's vanilla. I'm like, which one do I take? Yo, so I think I'm gonna go with the vanilla. So you, you, you knew this all this time, babe? Of course. And you never told me? I thought we were one. I love the breakfast, you know, this cake. There's, you know, I'm a very healthy person, so I'm obviously gonna take some vegetables. How does a hotel like this manage to just, you know, have such a wide variety of meat? Eh? That's the question. I wish we could stay here longer. See all these types of cheese of you know ham. Man. Let me never get here and I'm like, what do I take? What do I not take? It's so confusing. It's like, uh, it's like let me finish up with this fast and then. Now there's still food here. Hi, bad this one. You're too much. You're too much. Mm -hmm. oh, what is this? This is lemon water. This is 
carrots. I want to try this. How did you find him on Instagram? Ah, I'm on their page. Now, so that you follow me. We are done with round one. Round two, here we come. We are heading for the Guba Awards. And I've got to tell you, the streets of Rwanda are so peaceful at night. And uh, they've got street lights. Do you know that in Rwanda, uh, they have a speed limit of 60 kilometers per hour. They actually have speed cameras that monitor the roads. And no one, okay, most people don't go against the rule because the system works here. And if you do, they will find you. And such things just make me fall in love with Rwanda. There is just so much order. I can't help it. I wish other African countries would just emulate this. Finally, we're here. This is the first time the Guba Awards uh, is being held in Rwanda. So Guba means grow, unite, and build Africa. The award is given to individuals who are making a difference on the African continent in every field. Being in that room, I just felt I was just I was just so humbled. We had people making a difference in the fashion industry, music, you know, African sports, um, you know, black Americans are represented. We had the first ever I and youngest black American to attend university. It was just incredible. tourism but not paying me this, all right, that's the city right here and i have to talk about that as soon as i get to the state let's welcome Wode Maya welcome right. an unplanned speech um, I mean receiving this award in Rwanda I mean I won't call this place Rwanda I'll call it home because this is my home <laughs> this is the country that changed my life the first time that I came here when I had a dream of traveling Africa to promote Africa in a positive light I shared a dream with so many of my friends and they never believed in the dream so I had to take a loan and taking a loan, traveling within Africa, you know how expensive Africa is. Then I found myself in Rwanda. And I was like, you know what, I need to do something crazy. I had to sit in a gutter just to say Rwanda is the cleanest city in Africa. And that video exposed me to the world. <laughs> and because of that, I had to go back and pay the loan. So thank you, Rwanda, for changing my life. And um, I want to say a big shout out to the Guba organizers for this special award and making sure that I receive this award in this country because this country means a lot to me. Um, listen, I would love to dedicate this to my dad, even though he's no more. But the dream of promoting Africa, the dream of telling Africans that Africa is the place to be, the dream of telling Africans that wherever you find yourself in Africa, you don't see yourself as a foreigner, was the dream of my dad. But he never lived to achieve this. So as a young guy, I just wanted to continue my father's legacy. And I'm going to dedicate this to my wife, uh, my dad. And my wife is here at the moment. I just got married 10 days ago, yeah? So, <laughs> so yeah, babe, this is for you. Thank you all so much. And uh, keep on subscribing. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you subscribe now. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 
later on that night uh we got some room service maya said that these guys have the best chicken wings and pork ribs so that is what we ordered i had to try it and i've got to tell you i was not disappointed the food was so tasty Apart from having comfortable rooms, fast Wi-Fi, tasty food, a spa, and a fully equipped gym, these guys also have a pool. And you know we had to swim before we leave this place. I really enjoyed myself. Ooh, guys, Maya finally got in the water. Yeah, and I, ha I, I had to swim like a fish. Uh, I know, so right? I, I'm a fish in real life. You didn't get to capture that for you exactly. guys. Exactly. That's what I've been telling you, that I'm an Olympic swimmer. So don't joke with me. You don't like to show off. So. Yeah, I don't like showing off on camera, right? That's the thing about you. You're so humble. You know? See? See, my whole body is full of water. I just made it. But one thing I want to tell you is that the water is more um, salty. So if you're coming in here, know that you're going to have an experience of the sea. Oh, wow. And I, your skin is going to be so flawless. I, I think, you know, the reason why they, it's a bit salty because Rwandans have no experience of the sea. Mm -hmm. So they're giving them a sea pool experience. sea experience. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one yeah that's a good one but anyway um know that whenever you book uh, an accommodation with radisson but uh, know that whenever you book an accommodation with parking by radisson you got yourself a good wi-fi if you're someone who works from oh, home man, the they got uh, one of the fastest internet oh, in here oh, man. Uh, that's actually my favorite thing about this hotel the exactly. wi-fi then the food yours <laughs> is the food then the wi-fi you know yep 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 so yeah um I think we need to go to the city to check it out before we go to the airport. Yeah, let's go to the city. Okay. Check it out. All right. Bye. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh, guys. Do you remember her? Oh my gosh. Show me the ring. Show me the ring. Oh, guys. I met her when she was a single girl. I know, right? She's a married woman. I know. It's crazy. Time flies. <laughs> two years i know two right years. yeah oh my god guys do you remember how we met in mozambique yeah um, it was um, so much fun wow so you moved to rwanda i came to Rwanda. how long I have you been here two months now uh, are you gonna be staying here i don't know i'll find out what what, what brought you here school work work and then like youtube obviously mm -hmm. yeah but I'm so happy to see you, man. So you. Oh, you're still as beautiful as you are. You too. You get better with time. Oh, <laughs> looking good. Any message from guys from Mozambique or your fans? Um, I didn't even like. I haven't posted in a while mm -hmm. because I'm trying to figure out a system to post regularly. And I also wanted to explore more countries, like you and Maya did. You know, mm -hmm. don't just stay in your home country. See more of what East Africa has a lot to offer. So uh, in Portuguese, yes, yeah, sorry. Então, pessoal, tô aqui com a Trudy. You won't even understand what I'm saying. No, but someone will. Someone watching will. Okay. Tô aqui com a Trudy. Tô muito feliz de estar de volta com ela. Nos encontramos em 2020, tipo antes da pandemia, e agora estamos aqui. Eu vim abraçar o casal casado. E é isso. Tô muito feliz de estar com a Trudy. E vamos ver o Maia daqui a pouco. Thank you. Yeah.